Okay, <laughs> it's Lissy. It is, I don't know, is it whatever it is the day before Thanksgiving. I'm trying something new here. Um, you're in my bathroom. I have no makeup on. And I thought I would talk to you about, um, I just wanted to, sh actually, I wanted to show you my foundations and I wanted to show you like what it does. So we'll see how this works out. And then I think after I get my makeup on, then maybe I'll talk to you about some skincare. But um, in any event, so how's the best way to do this? The foundation I have been using the most that I like the best for me is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. And this is in um, Buttercup. I also have the same thing in another color in Nude. I think Nude is the one that for me is a little darker, like I was using the Nude in the summer. And now that it's, you know, fall and winter, like the Buttercup is better for me. Now I apply it with... Um, sorry for all this nonsense. So I sometimes apply it with a beauty blender which I haven't been doing lately. And then my last trip to Sephora, when I got, um, you know, they do that color thing for foundation. Um, you know what? I didn't put on my moisturizer. I'm like, my skin feels dry. Um, anyway, but she, the gal that helped me said this was her favorite for like a kind of full coverage foundation like that. It's the Pro Flawless, Flawless Airbrush number 56. But... I'm going to show you something else. I did get the whole Wayne Goss. Sorry, they're all just laying out here. The ugh, the Wayne Goss anniversary set of brushes. And I'm still like experimenting with them, but I will say this one, the brush, I think this is the brush number 10, no, number 1, um which I think is exclusive just to getting the whole set, so it's kind of expensive if you don't want everything else. But um, this I used for my foundation yesterday, and it was awesome. Okay, now, since I didn't put on my moisturizer yet, I did put on my eye cream, and I used the La Mer. This is the La Mer um, Eye Balm Intense. There's another one, a repairing eye cream or something, which I use, which I have now for my, like, this is almost done. And then I used the La Mer Soft Cream, which I'm going to put on right now because I realize I forgot to. Um, the difference between the soft cream and the, um, you know, the, whatever the, I forget what they call the, the, the original formula is that this is just a, I think the soft cream is easier to kind of apply. The original formula is like tackier and stickier and you really have to put it on your hands and work it in and like warm it up before you spread it across your face. So it's really just, presumably the benefits to your skin are the same. It's just how you, you know, your preference. Um, okay, so that's the moisturizer. Okay, so for the foundation, I'm gonna use, I think, the new Wayne Goss brush that I just showed you. And I usually just take a little dab, like, on my hand. I might need a little more than that, but you don't need a lot. And then I, and let's see if you can see. I'm not as red as I always am, but you see I get redness here redness here. I get redness like here and here. And so this, I just kind of dab it and then, you know, I don't know what you can see. I'm looking in my mirror here. Although I, got, I can kind of look here. But, um, and I, you know, kind of work it in everywhere. And I don't know if you can see, like, see the difference? Like, how much nicer that looks than that? Um, I need another little dab here. And then I usually, see, this just works it in, like, really nice. You don't get, um... It's not real like streaky or anything like some brushes are more you know more streaky and then you have to kind of blend it in after this one you don't now what I like to also do is a little on my lips so that when you put lipstick on you kind of get the real color of the lipstick versus 
whatever color of your lips underneath. And then I also just usually put the leftover. I don't know why I do that. Um, and then depending on if I feel like I need it, sometimes I do concealer, but I don't think I need it today. And then for my makeup, my fit, is this the one I want? No, this one. I love these Mac. What is this? Pro Longwear Paint Pot. This is Bare Study. Whoops. And um, I really use this. You could actually use this just as an all-over shadow, but I use it as kind of a base. I just, you know, do my finger. Um. Okay, and then... Hold on, I'm going to see what I'm going to do with my makeup. I wasn't going to do my whole makeup with you, but maybe I will. So hold the phone. Okay, so I'm going to use the Visart, um, what palette is this? Uh, oh, I know that's not the right name. It says Basic 15B. I think this is the Visart Matte Nude Palette or something. Um... But I'm heading to um, my sister's for Thanksgiving, so I'm also trying to use things that I can just pack as I go. And this is an easy one to like, like when I go to visit my sister, like there's not a ton of gussying up, you know, because my nephew's two years old. It's not like we're like going out to fancy dinners or anything. And this is just easy, natural makeup. So I am going to, you, uh, usually what I do is I take this color right here and do it all over and then I'll take maybe these in the crease so that's what I think I'll do today and I mean it's just really like natural there's not a lot happening here And then in the crease, I will do, you know, this little bit darker color right here. Not very. It's so bright in here, I don't even think you can see anything I'm doing. Like, especially because this is a, such a natural... Do a little bit of a so there. I ended up also doing this one right here. Oops, sorry, that one, that orangey one. Um, and then I think in the crease, I'll just go over with the light one again. I mean, not in the crease, like down here. And then on the, um, for eyeliner, one of my favorite, where is it? Oh, here. One of my favorite eyeliners is the Chantecai, um, Le Stilo Ultra Slim. And basically it's just like, oh, there we go. It's a really, really thin, like, almost like liquid liner, but like, because it's very kind of firm, it's not like a soft brush, it's easier to apply. Um, I'm gonna have to do this in the mirror because like I don't think I can do it here. I need to be more. But see, it's like, you get a nice thin line like just right at the lash line, which is when I do this really like neutral eyeshadow, I like to do this. There. And then I usually, okay, one of you guys asked me about my favorite um, eyeliners. And so I will tell you that one of my very favorite eyeliners, and it depends on what you want. For like a um, pencil eyeliner, I like the Tom Ford Eye Defining Pencil. 
this one is an onyx so which is black but i also have it in um espresso which is like a dark brown but these are now i have found i have gotten some color like i had a bright green really soft and smudgy like definitely too smudgy these i like them because they're smudgy because i like to use them in my lash line and like in here in the, in the set what is that called the water line or whatever but anyway um so I, I really like these. And you know, the Tom Ford makeup is definitely pricey. Um, but I find myself going back to these over and over again. So I just kind of like do it there. And then a little, sorry, I've got, I'm not even looking at you, a little underneath. I almost should point you to my mirror so you can, that might even be better. I don't know. But, um, oh, actually maybe that's good. And then I've been using the Dior Show mascara. This is one of those, like, you have to apply, like, This is just black and um, not, I don't like waterproof. It's not waterproof. I feel like waterproof to get off is a pain. The bangs get in the way a little bit. And I always have a hard time getting these lashes in here, these like ones inside. But, um, I have to do a few coats of this to get it the way I want it. This also, like, I need a replacement. It's getting old. Okay, that's good enough for now, I guess. I mean, I'm really only getting on the train today, so I don't really, I'm not going anywhere exciting. Um, and then, this is one of my, so this is like an, almost an everyday go-to. This is the um, Film Start Bronze and Glow by Charlotte Tilbury. And I love it. It's just like, and this is the Tom Ford, um, number five brush, like one of the best brushes ever. And you know, it's so funny cause you see how the lighting in here is so different than like in my, so in my apartment, like this is my bedroom is here and my bathroom is here and where I usually am is like in my living room and the sun shines in here during the day. So the lighting in here is so different. So when I do my makeup in here, like look at how much it looks like I have this on when I film out there, you can't even like really see it. And then um, the highlighter, which I just do kind of up here to make me nice and glowy. I like to be glowy. So that's really the makeup. And then I don't know what lipstick I'm going to use. Um, just to give you an idea, because I know you guys, it, it's, I'm almost horrified to show you because it's such a mess right now. Um, this thing is on it. Can we see it all? Ow. Okay, there's all the lipsticks. They're not as organized as they need to be. And you see I even have some in here. <laughs> all the nail polishes. Like I need to go through a clean out organization again. But anyway. Oh shoot, I hope I didn't just screw something up. Okay. 
we're still in business. Um, let me decide what lipstick to put on. Hold on. Okay. I think what I'm going to use is, because this is just easy. I don't really use any lip liner or lip gloss with this. This is the um, NARS Anita lipstick. So it's kind of a nice, I don't know, a little bit of a mauve color. Oh, I just got it on my teeth. So, I think that'll do. Basic. Um, I guess that's it. Oh, I figured also since I was telling you about my um, the foundation I use, I could also tell you the other ones I have that I like but I use for different things. So, I also have the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder youth boosting perfect skin foundation and this is in number four fair yeah so this is a much lighter um coverage than the becca so this is like when i i don't know especially in the summer like when you just want something to kind of even you out a little and not so much like cover um i like this but this is not my go-to because i like something with more coverage than this gives you. I would say this is more like light to medium and the Becca is definitely like full coverage. I also like the Tom Ford, this is the Traceless Foundation with SPF 15. And this is in number four, Bisque. Oh, hi, sorry. I would say this one is um, somewhere in between the Becca and the, the um, Charlotte Tilbury. I was using this one a lot until I discovered the Becca. And so this one is probably more like medium to full coverage, whereas I feel like the Charlotte Tilbury is less. Um, and then the other thing I actually love, which I sometimes use when I'm being lazy and sometimes just to give me extra coverage, this is the Tom Ford Traceless Foundation Stick. This is also in number four bisque. So it's just a little, I like it, it's just a little stick. So either sometimes I take my brush and just like use it to get extra coverage here, or if I'm like, this is so nice to travel with, and if I don't, I guess, I, I don't know if I don't really care is the right thing to say, but if I care less about, you know, like what I look like, I might just, you know, dab this and then rub it in with a brush like where I need it and not do kind of an all over foundation. Um, so this is definitely one of my favorite things. Um, and I guess that's it. Oh, and then occasionally I do have the Rachel K CC cream that occasionally I use before my foundation. This is that formula that I think they're not making anymore. And I've heard that people don't like the new formula as much, but now with the Becca foundation, I feel like I need the extra step less. Um, and that's that. And then skincare. So I showed you the eye cream and the moisturizer. Um, for cleansing, I like this La Mer cleansing lotion. It's just a little, and you literally only need like a couple pumps. Um, but this is a, a cleansing lotion. So I think what you do is like I rub it all over my face and then you don't necessarily like rinse it off. You kind of like wipe it off. Sometimes I'll use toner on a little cotton pad to wipe it off. And then, oh, what is down here? I've got too much nonsense. Oh, and then also, occasionally if I, I use this Shantikai Rice and Geranium Foaming Cleanser. And this has, you know, this is good, like, if you want a little bit of an exfoliant. Um, and this one I use, like, in the shower and, like, rinse off. Um, so I think that's it. This thing, I'm guessing this is going to be long enough. Now I've done like, this has got to be a good 20 minutes. I'm sure you're done with this already. <laughs> but, um, so I guess I'm going to sign off. I will try to post this if I can today before Thanksgiving. If not, I'll have it up in the next day or so. But in any event, have a happy Thanksgiving, or I hope you had a happy Thanksgiving. Um, 
I've taken today off and um, you know obviously tomorrow Thursday Thanksgiving is a holiday here and then Friday is not a holiday at my company because the stock markets are open but I took the day off so I am you know going to my sister's for a few days and then I'm gonna come back and still have the whole weekend here so um, happy happy Thanksgiving I hope you have a great one bye